Magnolias are a must-have in the garden. Whether you're planting new or have an existing tree, looking after them is really simple. What you're going to need is some compost, garden mix, sheet pellets, mulch and your magnolia tree. Magnolias offer shade in summer, let the sun through in winter and are well known for their big fragrant blooms. Larger types like Solingenas, modern hybrids and Denudata can grow up to an enormous 7 metres high and about 5 metres wide making them great as feature trees. Their tulip shaped flowers come in a variety of colours from deep magenta through to rosy pinks and whites. Smaller varieties like your stellatas reach about 2 metres in height and work well as borders or planted in containers. And their star like flowers also vary in colour. Once you know where you'd like to plant, come see us in store to help make your selection. Today I've chosen quite a prominent spot in the garden here to plant a feature magnolia tree. This is a magnolia genie, it's a modern hybrid, it's going to get to about three and a half metres high and grow in nicely between these two kneecap arms. Let's get started. Now, digging your hole, you want to make sure that it's about twice as wide as the pot that the plant's coming. Uh, so it's looking pretty good, fairly well drained. Right, so it's going to check the height, let's take the pot in our hole. Right, so that's at the right level with the rest of our soil. Now this one's been grown in a container. They can also come open grown, which means they're grown in the ground and then put into a bag and they're likely to have loose soil around the roots. But either way, it's good to free the roots up before you plant. So let's get this one out. So this one's pretty good. It's a little bit root bound. So we'll just give that a little tease before it goes in the hole. And we just do this so it helps unbind some of these roots and help the tree to get established a little bit faster. And if you do need a help, you can use a spade or something similar. Don't be afraid to cut them a wee bit just to help it all loosen up. Just pop it back in the hole, ready to backfill. First, we're going to add some sheep pellets. Just pour these, got a mount really just around the base of the hole. This is a bit of a fertilizer. Right, we're also going to add a bit of compost to help get some nutrients into the soil and some garden mix. Right, it's looking good. I'm just going to finish it off by mixing through some of our old soil back into the hole. Smooth it out a bit. And use your feet to stomp around the base and just compact that. So it's nice and firm. Make sure it's straight. Then I'll give it a decent watering in. And when you're watering, stick to around the bottom of the tree. You really just want to be soaking the roots, not wetting all the flowers. Right, that should be enough. Now we're just going to stake the tree. First, cut the old ties off. And take off the old stake. And then we're going to put in a new, more substantial stake. It's a good rule of thumb to stake any new tree, so it gets a bit of extra support. Try and keep it straight. And just to the side of the root ball. Nice and firm there. We're just going to use some of the soft tie. You want to tie them off around the bottom of the first big branch. This is going to help anchor the roots while it gets established, but let the tree sway around a little bit to get stronger. Not too tight, just a light knot. Perfect. Now time to get some mulch on. You just want to add a generous layer around the base. It's going to help retain moisture and keep the weeds away. Smooth it out. Right, all done. Magnolias don't like to be moved, so choose your spot carefully. Select the right size so it doesn't get too big, 
and avoid windy spots if you want to enjoy the flowers. They like slightly acidic soil, so avoid using lime, but they should do well in any good free draining areas. Best planting is late winter to early spring, and that's when you'll see the most variety in store to choose from. Water a couple of times a week in the first few years, especially over the summer months. But once established, they can tolerate a moderate drought. You don't need to fertilize your new plant until the next growing season, which is in autumn. Then feed with an acidic food monthly across autumn and winter for the first three years. You really only need to prune for shape and it's best done just after flowering as they flower on the previous year's growth. Use pruning paste to seal any large cuts. If you want to put the flowers in a vase, cut back to the base of another branch. That'll look tidier and protect against dieback. Magnolias don't suffer from many pests and diseases so if yours is in trouble, it might be in the wrong spot. If you're worried, come and see us in store. They're super versatile and offer something new every season, making magnolias a great addition to any garden. And make sure you subscribe to the Mitre 10 YouTube channel for more great content or click here to watch more.